Okay, so I just got this crazy idea for my solo day. It's Sunday, it's August 27th, and I just said to myself, I don't want to waste my day. It's so beautiful out. Like, let me show you. Like, I need to take advantage of this sun. So, as my solo day for August, I'm going to rent a kayak and just read edit my videos and just kind of um enjoy my morning or enjoy my afternoon it's three o'clock in the afternoon so we'll enjoy a two-hour kayak ride and then come home and do some errands right after so i packed my sunscreen my book i'm gonna throw my other uh phone so i can edit my videos i have my little throw over for my bathing suit and then my towel and let's head out we're ready to go Okay, so I made a little Starbucks stop because I haven't ate all day. Bag secured. All right, we're here. I'm going to change. This is so calming and I definitely recommend if you want to ever go on a solo date and enjoy your company and some alone time. You can read, you can just chill, sunbathe. I'm going to meditate for a little bit and then I want to talk. Hopefully this works. Okay. So I brought myself on this date because I had been I had been wanting to go out and just like enjoy the sun for today. I also feel like I don't give myself a lot of time to spend with myself and I've never really enjoyed my alone time. And I feel like right now in this part of my life, life is kind of just like forcing me to be alone to enjoy my alone time, to get along with myself, to figure out what it is that I love to do. And these are the kind of things that I normally want to do with other people or with my significant other. So it's just beautiful to be able to come out and do it by myself and give myself the things that I normally want in a relationship or in friendships or just to have company around. Um, it feels so nice. It's so relaxing. I think the importance of solo dating is teaching me that I can do things on my own without craving that company, that I can enjoy my own company, that I can step out of my comfort zone and just bring myself, you know, wherever I want to go without having to rely on other people wanting to be down to do something like this i literally just was like you know what the day is so beautiful to not do anything so how about we just take ourselves on a little date for august and i think that's what i want to start doing i want to just be able to make one date a month where i can enjoy myself you know take myself out to the movies do a pottery class i had asked people on my instagram you know what are some solo date ideas and i like the pottery class idea ah! so the pottery class idea i like because it's just like another way of me just stepping out of my comfort zone this is stepping out of my comfort zone and just being alone like just taking in the sun i read a little bit I meditated, I just sat here in the silence, I sunbathed, 
and now I want to record. I want to finish the video by just kind of sharing my thoughts on solo dating. If you have been considering it or, you know, you want to spend some time with yourself and don't know how to feel about it, is it, it is a little nerve-wracking, I'm not going to lie. But once you do it once, you're going to want to keep going. You're going to, like, face the fear you have of just going out somewhere by yourself and i feel like that's the fear i'm facing now i've been to a little panera date with myself and just edited my video and sat there made my schedule for the week and now i'm here just reading enjoying my time being with myself and just thinking about all the things that i need to start letting go of like you know wanting that company i had woke up today and Sometimes my place feels so lonely. Like, what do I do? The lights just all are off and I just sit there questioning, like, what is there to do? I should just stay in the comfort of my place. There's no judgment here. I can do whatever I want. But it is so nice to step out of your comfort zone and just be able to enjoy something like this out of the blue. It reminds you that there's so much life up around you outside to just explore and to feel comfortable with yourself. Um, and it also just teaches you, you know, your independence, your getting to know yourself. What do you enjoy? What are the thoughts you have while you're by yourself? How are you facing those those thoughts? You get to, you know, set a little bit of time away from society, away from social media away from all the distractions that keep you in that loop. I love this. I like I want to do this more often. Um, just seeing everybody else around me too. It's just so nice to have everybody just do the same exact thing, enjoying each other's company or their themselves and seeing the paddle boarding, people swimming. It's so beautiful. Um, I think another thing I want to say and put out there is that solo dating for me is I want to do all these things and then I discourage myself and in the beginning I discourage myself but as soon as I just take the fuck it mentality and roll with it I end up here so the biggest step you're gonna have to face is just doing it once you're in the car, driving, play some music, you might be a little nervous. Fuck it, you're already in the car. You're already driving to wherever you want to go. You might as well just enjoy the time you have with yourself. Journal, read, record yourself, whatever you want to do. Um, being alone and feeling lonely serves a good purpose in your life. And I know sometimes... We like to, you know, think of loneliness as something with a negative, um, like, effect or, you know, oh, she's, she is lonely or he's lonely or, you know, they're all alone. Like, sometimes it has, like, a negative connotation to it, but I feel like it is so important and necessary because once you start learning more about yourself, feeling secure about yourself putting yourself out there and knowing that you don't need other people's company to feel okay or happy and you can do that on your own you stop relying on other people you stop you know thinking that the only way to be happy is by being surrounded by others you should find that happiness within yourself first and whatever other people bring you to the table is just going to amplify your happiness. Um, I think it's so important to just enjoy the time you are lonely. It serves you as a good like stage or phase in your life to understand yourself without judgment from other people. It's just you, your thoughts, your actions, um, you taking accountability for certain things that you feel like, you know, for me, for example, this was never a thing before where I come out and enjoy myself. 
um, and find security within myself and, you know, just throw myself out into the wild to do something that I normally wouldn't do alone. But the more alone that I am, the more, you know, certain relationships fail, certain friendships fail, and I find myself back into my room and in a nut, like in a little nutshell, just kind of crying and sobbing. It like pushes me to open new doors for myself, within myself, and stop chasing or looking for company. Like this is what I need. This is a part of my life right now that I need to enjoy, get to know, and feel comfortable with. You know, I set those three goals, finding security within myself, time management and money management for a reason. And this is one, one of those things that fulfill that security within myself goal. And I feel like everyone needs this. Every, everyone needs to go through this part of their life where they just figure themselves out and what they want before they go out looking for other people or wanting to date others or, you know, whatever it is that you want to do with company. I feel like you always need that security within yourself first. Um, but yeah, that's my little rant. Definitely take a solo date, a solo trip somewhere and just enjoy your own company. Get to know yourself, open new doors for yourself without having to look for company to do all these adventures with. Do them with yourself, hike with yourself. My next thing is hiking. I've been wanting to go hiking and like I said, that that fear of just doing it by myself sits there, but I already did this by myself. I went to Panera and chilled by myself and had some food. Next up is my hike. And I wanna do one solo date a month, so that's probably my next date. Um, go to the movies with yourself. Feel comfortable in your skin, in your body. Don't look for that comfort in other people. You'll always end up feeling empty or alone, like in your head. You'll be too much in your head, like you don't belong or you know, people don't want you or I say all these things because this is how I used to feel and it makes me question sometimes my existence, but I realize, you know, I am beautiful. I bring so such a great vibe to the table, like whenever I'm around my friends and as long as I can feel confident and secure within myself, there's nobody else that can take that happiness away from me, that security because I've cultivated it through solo dating, through journaling, through meditating, through enjoying my alone time, through listening to myself and sitting with myself, figuring out what I need to fix, what I need to work through and do it all, throw myself into uncomfortable situations to come out of them better than I did when I first started them. So if you're out there questioning whether you want to go on a solo date or you want to find security within yourself, throw yourself out there. Put yourself in a position to go on a little solo date. Go to a movie by yourself. Maybe hike by yourself. Maybe take the pottery class. Come kayaking and just look at life around you. How grateful you should feel to be experiencing this life to be surrounded by water and people and everyone just enjoying their time birds flying just sunbathing being at the center of a giant body of water just in your own bubble in your own vibe how beautiful i love you guys Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming along on this ride. And I hope you took something meaningful out of this little talk. This is just what's going through my head. I know sometimes it can be tough to go through hardships and find yourself in a position where you don't know how to break through. But I promise you everything takes time. And 
one day you are going to get into that fuck it mentality and get yourself in the car and take yourself out and be in your own in your own comfort somewhere out there just enjoying your own peace taking in each breath of fresh air and looking around you grounding yourself embracing life embracing your own comfort of being by yourself and it's gonna feel so surreal to reach that phase but it's gonna come it takes time i didn't this didn't happen overnight for me it took a lot of trial and error it took a lot of missing not a lot of missing but it took a lot of losing people to figure out this part of my life and that i needed it so bad and now i'm doing it now i'm here and i'm ready for the next one you're gonna be just fine i promise I'm sending you so much love from the screen. From here, this is right now we are in uh, Monksville Reservoir. It's beautiful. You can come rent your kayak here. You can rent a single kayak. This one cost me 40 bucks, two hours. And they give you your vest, your life vest, and you do a waiver and you're set out into the water. So, Find your, find your vibe and go do it by yourself. Don't be afraid. You're gonna die one day. Nobody's going to remember half the shit that happened in this lifetime. If, you know, the world ever ends and humanity's gone and we don't survive, you might as well just do it. You might as well just throw yourself out there and just fuck it. Literally, just fuck it. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>